Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so that you don't miss anything I produce on this channel. I am so excited to be uh, here today to look at a video, a Strictly Lindy competition from Sophia Swing Dance Festival 2022. But before I do that, I just wanna say thank you to all the Patreon supporters who support this channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all of the financial support that you give. Many of you all may not know this, but one of the reasons I wanted to be a swing dance analyst is to create a culture where truth is amplified. I think a lot of times in today's society, people like to blur the lines between what is true and what is opinion. And I like to kind of keep those separate. I like to put it out there so that people can elevate what we know to be true. And then we can have our conjecture and our opinion stated openly without fear of being persecuted for stating the truth or having an independent thought. I think that's one of the greatest lessons that we can learn from the last 100 years of world history. We've got to learn the lessons from other people's bad mistakes and not just repeat them. Well, all that being said, thank you guys again for supporting this channel. If it's on Patreon, if you're liking or timidly sharing the video on your social media accounts, thank you for contributing to this movement. So without further ado, let me look at this video and give you guys my obese opinion. Let's go. Seven minutes, 29 seconds. Here we go. Let's go warm up. Good warm up. I saw a whole lot there. It's really special. Let's see what happens.
Ooh, that was tight. I got two couples I want to talk about. Two couples. Man, great job, guys. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, this one's very difficult to judge. This was really enjoyable. There were so many great couples that I noticed that I saw in some other competitions. Some of them weren't wearing hats and some looked a little differently in different lighting. I think one of the gentlemen is Will. Big shout out to you, Will. <laughs> was talking to him online. This was a very challenging competition to judge because of one concept. You have something that is more original versus something that is better executed. That's really hard. It's it's like, you know, taking something that is uh, uh, something that hasn't been seen before uh, that has really transcended the genre and people are like, wow, what is that? Versus something that is kind of familiar, but just has an incredible execution in such a way where we just like, we can't ignore how amazing the execution is. And this is what I feel this competition was like. So for example, my second place winner was really the couple I wanted to win. My heart was invested in them all of the way. And it was because of their very first set. I felt it was more original and it was tight. So for example, let's take a look at this. When they first come in, you can see, you know, of course, the obligatory swing outs to set up their personality. And then, okay, we see some variation and very good controlled movements with those quick intensity changes, right? Okay, that little hop right there with the music was beautiful. And this transition here, okay, to something slow, and a very inconspicuous rotation to get out of there. That was perfect. It was all good. Even all of this looks great. Just, it was just so good, just so good. And then of course, in their second set, now I will say the ending of their last set, I felt dragged just a little bit. It dragged just a little bit in the first set. Sometimes it's weird because sometimes the you can fix a movie with editing. And there's certain movies you can't do anything to fix how atrocious it is. And I'm, this is not one of those cases. This is a matter of if it was edited just a little bit differently, um, it would have had a, a, a larger punch. And like, for example, even in their second set, I love their second set. That little hit there with the foot coming down at the end of the swing out, they both are matching each other with intensity, which is something I appreciate. That quick intensity change to that there Ah, that was good. I, I think their their second set was a lot tighter where it mattered. And it was just the, the ending of their first set was the only weak link for me that would put them in second place. And the only reason is because the first place couple was just that much better at the timing and how they did their execution. And in a way, it almost looks over-processed when it's perfectly timed and there's no little error or mess up or feeling of something authentic, it kind of looks overproduced. And I can't knock them for that. My first place couple, I haven't even talked about them yet, but this is why I had them in first, was the very thing I would criticize my second place couple with. So again, if I'm being consistent with my own principles, they had the control, they had the timing, they had the creativity, but this is a matter of arrangement and editing. And sometimes the issues with timing can really jeopardize some of the movements that you have, even if they're creative moves. That's just the way it is and, and how our eyes adjust to certain things that we're listen, looking to and how our ears hear the sound and we fuse that together to create an emotion when we are in the audience. Now, let me explain to you my first place couple. Man, you guys might be sharing the same opinion. My first place couple was this couple right here. When they come in, okay, very tight on the swing outs. I really appreciate that. And they, of course, right into their first trick on that fourth eight count. Okay, everything is programmed right. So I can see some social dancing and a big move on the fourth eight count, right? Of course, just like the second place couple, they slow it down a little bit, highlighting the follower's footwork. They go back into some speed to match the music. And they do a, a very familiar aerial. Now, like their second set here, this is what put the icing on the cake for me to really solidify them being in first place, that right there. They literally just did three swing outs and a trick 
that highlighted the follower's flexibility and her sliding on the ground and the perfect ending for them. So this is an example of a set that is less original than my second place couple, but because they have better timing with their movements, they end up winning in my position. This is the way I look at it. And it's, it's weird. That's how it is sometimes. And even though the ones I like and the ones I want to win can't win if I'm being consistent, I have to, I have to be consistent with those principles or I can't really can't do this. It does. It just as fickle as me saying I had a bad day, so I don't like you. So therefore you don't win. <laughs> and we definitely don't want that. So man, this was really good. Both of those couples were great. Both of those couples were great. One day I might appreciate my, the first place couple I had in first, uh, more than the second place, but right now I like that second place couple. They were really crushing it. I like when people do creative things, but I also like it when their creative things are executed well with the technique, with the control. And I really like it when they have good timing because that's when I actually feel something as a uh, critical audience member. When they have that, all three of those elements together, it just makes things special for everyone. So guys, what did you think about this one? Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. I didn't really have a third place one here. I could and go there, but the, the main two is what I wanted to talk about. And those are the main ones. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys haven't signed up already, check out my free courses. I just uploaded plenty of new ones in the uh, description below. Also, you can be a part of my Street Smart Swing community now. I've got an official membership. My membership, my membership. You got to check it out, guys. I have a lot of great benefits there. Uh, lots of lessons that I'm adding to it. Of course, you guys get a chance to see my own ingenuity, the things that I work on all the time. I'll be uploading that stuff every single week for your benefit. Of course, we'll have some live question and answers and things like that to help you guys uh, in your own swing dance journey. So with that said, let me know what you thought about this uh, competition in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care.